If you want a three-point shootout for the entirety of the fourth quarter, well, then tune in no more than Illinois versus Iowa. This game, uh, the final was 90-86. to 86. Illinois took the win over Iowa. Number 12, Iowa does take the loss here. But, I mean, the real true story in this one, Steve, now, this game was great through and through. But if you watch just the highlights, even if you just catch the highlights this one, they were back and forth. The entire second half, and especially in the fourth quarter, it was three point after three point. Caitlin Clark, Genesis Bryant, Caitlin Clark, Genesis Bryant. I mean, it just didn't stop. It was beautiful. It was fantastic basketball. And it was exactly why we love talking about players like Caitlin Clark and this Iowa, Iowa basketball team. Illinois looked really good in this one. They moved to 13 and two on the season. Iowa goes down to 11 and four. A little bit of worrisome if you will, of the Hawkeyes team. I think they'll figure it out and get it together. The Big Ten is a very tough conference. Steve, I know you're dying to talk about Caitlin Clark. I've said her name three times on this show, and I know that you're biting your lip on this one. What was your thoughts on this game with the loss uh, from Iowa, 90 to 86? Well, you know, actually, I was going to really try to focus a lot on Illinois. I mean, this was the biggest game in the women's program in at least a decade that, that sure. I can remember. I mean, it was the largest crowd they've had, you know, for, for, for almost forever. And, and they still didn't get themselves ranked. Now they're just outside. Just outside. I, I, I think they were, I think they would be 26. Uh, they, they just didn't get enough, you know, votes. And, and again, that's a whole other a whole deal. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the the coaches in the Big Ten and the writers in the Big Ten were voting for Illinois. Uh, I, I think I saw that. I think there was one vote for them as high as 21 coming off of this win and then several other 23, 24, 25. But Illinois, they earned this win. I kept seeing headlines, you know, Illinois stuns Iowa. Well, maybe if you're not paying attention to the women's game uh, in, in in the before conference play begins, okay, you might be stunned. It didn't. I mean, I wasn't stunned. I think I I still think I was a Final Four team, and I don't think Illinois really is. But it didn't stun me that that they uh, did as well. I mean, I mean, I thought that they did a great job with their guard rotation. And even though yes, Caitlin Clark was draining you know threes, and a lot of mm-hmm. players were you know on Iowa side. I really thought that they made the Lady Hawkeyes work for every shot that they had. And then, you know, you talk about Genesis Bryant, especially in the second half. She just took over in the second half. And uh, Makira Cook, the first half was hers. I mean, I think she's had either 12 or 14 of her of her points. Uh, actually, she had 16 of her uh of her 20 points in the first half. So, I mean, Illinois just came together, you know, as a team. They just did everything well in this game. They were, I mean, they they literally got all five of their block shots in the first quarter. They were setting a tone early, saying, you are not going to just run up and down the court against us. We're going to keep up with you, but we're also going to deny you inside, and we're going to force you to hit these shots. You're not going to just have all these open looks. So, I I mean, a huge win for the Lady Illini's program. I mean, I'm really happy to see that. And the more that I've been watching, the more I think that the Big Ten may be morphing into the best women's conference in Ooh. in the country. I think you can Ooh. say that it would not really have to blink or hesitate or make excuses for whatever. I, I just think that they they are just the best program in you know uh, in women's basketball Division One. Yeah, it's hard to disagree with that if you have Ohio State and you have Michigan as well in in the mix, and then these two teams, and I'm sur- sure I'm missing one of them as well that, that we're not even bringing up. Um, I mean, oh, Indiana. <laughs> I mean, come on. I forgot about Indiana. Maryland as well. Maryland. So, um, yeah, there's some really good teams in the Big Ten. I think you have a good argument here. Uh, as for Iowa, you know, obviously Caitlin Clark was just fantastic. I really liked what they did as well to working with Cezano as well. They, they, they lobbed the ball to her uh, plenty of times in the paint and she did some fantastic things there. She did a couple no look layups. I mean, she's really comfortable in the paint and she does some fantastic things down there. I would just at the end just made a couple bonehead plays. They had a turnover like uh, when they were trying to inbound the ball late in the game that moved the that moved it to a two possession score once again. And it just made them keep trailing and keep playing backwards over and over again. And it just wasn't enough for Iowa to, to come back. And, and, and this one, that's why it was, it was a very close game through and through the entire time. If they play it again, 
um, it would be tough to say that this would be the same result because both teams played fantastic. There was no, there was never a time where you thought that anyone was going to run away with it. It really didn't feel like that at all. I mean, there were some moments where Caitlin Clark shot a couple threes and she hit her career 250th three pointer, and you thought this was going to be her night, and it was her night. But Illinois kept with it, and they just fighting Illini just just kept with it, and they found a way to get the win. And they're 13 and two. And I'm with you, Steve. I do think they should be ranked. They are just outside the top 25. If they find a way, now the next rankings doesn't come out until next Monday. On Sunday, they got to take on Ohio State. So if they th- you know Ohio State, we know they're obviously going to be in the top 25. Oh yeah, but yeah, I think even if even if, if they make it a competitive game like this against Iowa and they would lose, I, I still think you have to rank well. them. I, I, you know, sure. I mean, because basically, again, we we were, we had the discussion um, just yesterday about Ohio State. Uh, and you know, I think that they sh- they're really the number two t- team in the country. So if mm-hmm. if you're keeping it, you know Ohio State close and you just beat Iowa, you need to be ranked in the top twenty five. I'm glad you brought up Cisnano because mm-hmm. people forget you know she also has two thousand career points. Now again, Caitlin yes. Clark got there as fast. I think she was tied. Uh, as far as the, the fewest games to get to 2,000 career points, but still, I mean, says so Donald just gets it done. She's the pen. She's that pendulum. You know, I you know. know where she's going to be. You know, you can get her the ball inside if she doesn't feel she has the shot. She can kick it back out. I mean, she's terrific. I thought that Bostic, uh, for you know, and uh, says so Donald matchup uh, in the paint was terrific. I mean, I mean, I really, really did. Iowa has played a very tough schedule. So I understand yes. why people would feel nervous. And I think some of their games where they lost or where it was really close, and you're like, I don't understand why it's this close. It was that regional, you know, local schools that they were playing, like the Creightons and the Drakes, mm-hmm. and, and Northern Iowa, all, all of those schools uh, that really uh, – Iowa State. I mean, I mean, all that, that really kind of kept them constantly having to come out from, from an emotional standpoint and play top. I think it's going to help them down the road. But I, I'm not good. I'm not worried about this Iowa women's team. And you know, you know, you know what I'm worried about? I'm worried about that I'm going to stop watching games on the men's side. That's how <laughs> into yeah. the uh, this is the best season. Of Easily. women's college basketball from start. Easily. Uh, I mean, yes, you you still have some programs that are going there and getting blown out or whatever, but it's not like it was ten years ago. Certainly, when I was growing up, you had maybe four or five really elite schools, and then you just had some good players scattered about. There is talent in every conference, and I don't care how you want to rank a conference. In every conference, there is serious talent. And there were there was at least two good teams really in every conference on the women's side. So I I I, I just can't wait. In fact, you know I, we may have to just change it to slasher. I don't know, w. slasher we slasher we slasher w whatever yeah <laughs> slasher that woo. would make sense. Yeah, yes, it's a slasher woo. Yeah, because honestly, <laughs> I mean the, the best basketball being played right now on a consistent basis, is on Sundays, and it's the women's game. And I, I really hope all of you out there in YouTube land and all the followers of Slasher, you you know follow our lead on this. There, there's just some great basketball being played. You give yourself a chance. Don't be skeptical. Don't have six beers in you and be all, <laughs> sit down, watch the games. You will be pleasantly surprised since you're probably going to be a cynic going in. But if you're a basketball fan, you're going to fall in love with the women's game this year. I agree. Completely agree. As for Iowa, we just talked about Illinois and their tough schedule coming up this weekend. On Saturday, Iowa takes on Michigan. So number 16 versus number 14. Iowa did move to 15, by the way, to rankings. That's going to be Saturday, 430 Eastern time on Fox. That should be a fantastic game. They're playing that one right on Fox for a reason, because that game is going to be a very good. Again, Saturday, 430 Eastern time. Number 16, Iowa, taking on number 14, Michigan. We talked about some concerns with Iowa. We just Both these teams are coming off a loss. Michigan losing to Ohio State, Iowa now losing to Illinois. This is going to be their next big test for each other. What's your thoughts on this one? Well, you know, I'm, I hadn't looked at the rankings yet, I have to admit, because I've, I've been running around a bit today. I don't understand how Michigan can be ranked ahead of 
Iowa. I, I, I just don't, I don't get it. And maybe it's because I've, maybe I've watched too much women's basketball. Maybe I am being too nitpicky about things, but. Could be the um, record. I mean, four losses for Iowa, two, only two for Michigan. That could have come into play. And potentially. potentially. Michigan was playing, you know, Little Caesar U and other different schools early on in, in the year. Uh, I, again, they they play some tough games. Don't get me wrong. I mean, certainly in conference play, I mean, they got challenged with Ohio State. You know, they, they played some tough competition in tournaments. But really, uh, you know, you look at that roster, it's a good team. Uh, they're not nearly the caliber of Iowa. Yeah, And maybe I'm just blinded with my Caitlin Clark fanboy, you know, uh, <laughs> Rachel says nano stuff. And, and, I'm, and yeah. maybe I'm just too blinded by that, but uh, I don't see that, but it's, it's going to be a great game. And again, it's on Fox, not, not FS1, not FS2. And that's great. You know, you, you know, even ESPN, it's on over the air networks. So more people, specifically more young women are going to get a chance to see top college basketball so they could maybe really get into it. it it certainly worked with with the women's national soccer team i think this push to get more women's games on abc and now fox yep. i think it's great i love it yeah me too let us know your thoughts in the comment description below what do you think about this iowa hawkeyes team what do you think about the fighting illini and what do you think about this entire big 10 conference do you agree with steve do you think this is the toughest women's conference in college basketball. Let us know in the comment description below. Hit like and subscribe while you're there. And thanks for watching Slasher U.